So in this demo, I wanted to take you through what happens once an employee has been hired into the business application. Typically after HR have done their work and brought on the new employee. Now what typically happens in an organization is, is IT takes over and they add the employee to the network and they give them access to the business application. So I just wanted to take you through how that's actually done with Microsoft Dynamics AX. So a new employee has started and I'll just have a look at the uh, list here in the HRM module in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. So I can see the new employee which is Ken. Um, so Ken's a new controller. Now as an IT person what I'll do is I'll jump into a tool which is Active Directory for example. So Active Directory allows me to set up the user account and with this I can go and copy an existing user. For example, I can copy um, uh, Sarah for example. So I'll key in the, uh, the information and give Ken a uh, login to the, uh, to the network. I'll just assign a temporary password. And that's essentially uh, Ken's account created. Now, of course, Ken being an information worker needs to have access to email. I'll just jump into Exchange and I'll use the Exchange tools to create a new mailbox. I can set up a new user mailbox. This lets me select existing users. So this will let me select existing users out of uh, Active Directory so I can pick Ken as a new user. I can choose my option of where the mailbox is stored on Exchange and that's essentially the mailbox uh, created there for, for Ken. Now of course information workers also have access to new tools like unified communications so I can also jump back into Active Directory and I can go and look at the properties for Ken. So I can see here that I have a tab which is communications. Now this shows me my integration to Office Communications Server and so by selecting that I can enable Ken to use Office Communicator. So while I'm in the Active Directory properties I can actually change my properties of uh, Ken here so I can actually give uh, Ken the uh, his job title uh, in the system in the department and I can change for example um, who he reports to by looking up the Active Directory information so I can change it to report to uh, Sarah for example as the uh, the CFO so that's essentially uh, Ken set up in in the system um, from a network point of view now it's fairly simple once I go back to Microsoft Dynamics AX we provide a wizard that allows you to import this information so I can jump into users. Um, I can click my import button which starts the wizard. Now I can select my directory which is the active directory domain and I can go next. Um, shows me that I, I get a warning message because of course this could be done potentially in a large organization so this list could be quite large. So if I scroll through the list I'll see the users that are coming from uh, active directory for example and I'll see that this is uh, Ken's uh, new account information here and you'll see that it's picked up the properties from active directory so controller from accounting for example. So I can simply um, confirm this information, uh, assign Ken to a user group. In this particular case I'm just going to add him to the admins group as a, a simple group so he has access to everything. Um, I can choose his profile. So if you see the list of profiles that we have available, these are essentially the role centers that um, that Ken will get access to. So as Ken is in a controller, I can assign him to the controller profile in the companies that he belongs to. And so therefore that's the default role center that Ken's going to get when he logs on to the, onto the system. Um, so that's, uh, that's Ken actually set up in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Now what you'll see is if I go through the list, um, I'll see Ken added to the users uh, list here. Um, in, in the system. I can actually go into my user relationships and I can associate Ken as the login to the employee. Uh, so if I look through the list of employees I can find Ken and I can associate Ken to the login information. So that's Ken uh, set up in Microsoft Dynamics AX and set up on the network. So let's go and log in uh, as Ken. So I'm just going to use uh, terminal services here and I'll use terminal services to 
uh, log in as Ken and we'll set up his new desktop just to show you the uh, process of bringing on this new employee and show you that it's a fairly painless exercise of bringing them on getting them network access and getting them access to uh, the business application which is Microsoft Dynamics AX so this is the new desktop starting up Okay, so Ken can now log on and uh, do some work. Of course, he might um, change some of his profile information. For example, he might go and personalize the desktop so he could change the theme, um, so I could change it to the Vista theme, for example, to make it look a little uh, pretty. Of course, I might want to change the, the, the desktop background, so uh, let's give it a nice um, summary feel. Um, and so this is the this is uh, Ken's desktop uh, essentially set up. Now of course Ken wants to access uh, email. It's probably the first thing that I'll do when I log on as a new employee so I can go and access um, Outlook. And of course Outlook will pick up this information uh, from Exchange like his default email address for example um, and, and allow him to log on to Exchange um, straight away. So you'll see uh, you, you know, of course give him his privacy options to accept that from an office point of view and what he has uh, visibility to. And so of course you can see if I go into the address book this is the existing users um, already set up through Exchange. Um, of course he might want to go and use um, Office Communicator to use IM for example and uh, voice communications through Office Communicator. So of course this will start up, I'll get my default sort of um, message and you again it'll pick up the information about my defaults from uh, Active Directory. So this is Ken logged on um, to Communicator. He can start now communicating to people in the organization. So we have a similar experience with uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX. So if I log into AX, um, start it up, because I don't have to enter password information because of course we have single sign-on now that Ken has access. Um, to the business application. If I hadn't added him, um, of course I, I wouldn't be allowed to log on, but because of the single sign-on we get um, a, a good sense of um, access and control throughout the organization. So Ken being a controller, this is his default role center profile that he gets access to, so I can see the default information, some KPIs, some cues um, in terms of what's ha uh, happening with the system. Alright, so this is Ken's role center on the AX client, for example. He also has a, a, the ability to use uh, Internet Explorer and access the business application through a web browser. So I can start up a web browser, I can get a default link for the default profiles in the organization. So this gives me access to the enterprise portal. So again, this is the same information. This is Ken's role center directly within the enterprise portal, for example. So if I log back on to the administration uh, console, this is actually Ken now set up and uh, running in the application. So if I go into uh, Ken's user and I go back to the user relationships and I drill for example into the employee information by going to main table, I can now set uh, a piece of contact information up for Ken which is the default uh, email address for example. So if I go into here uh, I can type in Ken's uh, email address Now, what I wanted to show you here is that we have a new capability to associate the communicator sign-in address. So, of course, we have Ken logged in on that other session here. So, I'm just going to save that. Now, what you'll see is, is that we, we now have the ability to see that presence information through the business application. So, I can use this to actually now communicate directly with Ken, send him an email. I can actually call through Office Communicator, for example. So, if I send him an, an instant message, you'll see that Ken's logged on. Um, as the administrator, I can ping him and say hi, uh, for example, just as a, a simple message. And you'll see this come up directly on his um, uh, terminal there, for, for example. So, it just shows you the, the integration that we have to, for example, systems like uh, Office Communication Service services. So um, that's a small demo of taking a, a new employee um, from taking on from HR, um, adding them to the network and adding them to Microsoft Dynamics AX and getting them set up for their first day work with Microsoft Dynamics AX.